All right, here it is. I'm gonna do an oil change on this 2015 Ram 1500 Eco Diesel. I've had it for, I don't know, six months now. So it's a Longhorn, it's pretty nice. I think it has, it doesn't say, let's see, oh, 40, 46,000, almost 47,000. Needs an oil change. Um, I'm gonna do the oil filter, oil change. All that good stuff. And um, I finally get to use these new wrenches. These, are these ratcheting wrenches are nice. Come in this little bag. Pretty sweet. Um, but I think it's a 13 millimeter little plug right there. So let's get to it. And these wrenches, they'll be in my uh, Amazon. Uh, they're nice so check them out they're good they're adjustable obviously with the swivel head and then the ratcheting which makes life easier so there's the old drain plug we use this 13 millimeter you can see this is like a concrete mixing tub that i use as a a oil pan it works pretty dang good i think you can get them at home depot but all right let's get a wrench on this thing there she goes Let that drain. Let's uh, go tackle the old filter. As you can see, it's the old drain plug. It's more kind of on the passenger side. I mean, you can get it from either way, but just a little tip. Um, and then the old filter is going to be right here on the driver's side. And I think it's a 27 millimeter. Um, but I'm going to use just an adjustable wrench like this. All right, let's get to it. Also, if you want your oil to drain faster, you can pop that oil filler cap off. Let's get this uh, oil filter out. And here she is. Let's get it out of here. Hold on. And there it is. Old one out. It's hard to do this one hand. And this part right here on the back, it'll shove on the inside and stick to the cap there. Got your, got your new O-ring right here that you'll put around there. And when you put it on, uh, lube it up with uh, some oil. Lube it up with some oil so it seals real good. And then just hand tighten it. Also, to get one of these O-rings off, you're going to be fighting it with just your fingers. So if you get one of these picks, those will be linked down below to just stick a pick behind there and get it off. There it is, the old O-ring, new old, new O-ring. There's some uh, oil on around there. Throw it back on there. Some little excess. Your new filter, new O ring, slap it back in there. All right, she's on there. Good as new, brand new filter. All right, let's go put the see if this thing's done draining. 
she's still dripping, but most of it's out, so that's fine. You ain't gonna get every drop. I'm gonna snug her up with the old 13 millimeter and wipe her down and she's ready to be filled up. Wipe her down real good. Let's get this 13 millimeter. So what I do, get it hand tight which that's about hand tight and then give it like a quarter turn and she's good. That's it. She's sealed up. You don't want to over tighten it. That's for sure. All right, let's fill So it. with an oil change, you're going to need 2.25 gallons. So one of the, this is a gallon, this is a gallon, and then you'll need a quarter of one. And that's with an oil, oil filter change. That's how much it takes. So let's get her filled up. All right, two gallons are in. I think we're gonna be low. Yep, we're at the minimum right there. So we need a quarter of a gallon. And like I said, it takes about nine quarts or 2.25 gallons. All right, let's fill her up again. All right. She's good to go. She's filled back up. No leaks. Also, I wanted to say one thing. So you see how this filter is on top. When you put oil in it, it's gonna go all the way to the bottom of the block or the engine. So when you check your oil before you start, make sure it's, you know, at least to the middle or, or to the max. And what I would recommend is starting it up, letting it run for, you know, a minute or two, let that oil kind of circulate throughout and um, it'll go to where it needs to be. And usually you'll check it again and it'll seem to drop a lot. And then I'd fill it back up and you'll be good. Um, so that's a little tip, but um, I appreciate you guys watching, hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.